Hey Randy, so here's this plastic minifigure mold. I guess I'll talk about this for two minutes or so. It's, um, plastic? And, oh wait, I do have a Lego set. This might be all the Lego left in my no longer Lego room, the Stranger Things upside down house. I guess I'll take it apart. I know you like taking apart sets, but I really, really don't. Sure, it looks cool as a video, but this set in particular took a lot of work. I even like it, though I'm not the biggest Stranger Things fan. We watch the show and enjoy it, but it's not like something I would collect memorabilia for. Still, the Lego set is pretty cool, and it's built in a way that actually makes it pretty difficult to take apart. But I'm managing. And yes, my method might be driving you crazy because I'm not taking it apart piece by piece, but more section by section. My main concern is breaking it down so I can pack it for the move. No need to catalog each piece, but I hope they're all there. In a way, I'm going into my own upside down right now, some sort of bizarro world where I won't have any Legos, at least not for a month or so. I might have to take your advice and switch to talking about digital Legos for our next few videos, though I think making a Lego game in Unity is beyond my skills. I guess if I get really bored without any Legos, I could always pull a little set out of a box and put it together only to take it apart right away and pack it back up. I guess we'll see. But for now, I'll see what a Legoless existence is like as I work to finish packing up the rest of our belongings for the big move. It'll be tough, but at least I know they'll be waiting for me on the other side. And it's like they say, the real Legos are the friends we made along the way. See you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and all that. You can also support the channel and get cool Lego-y perks on our Patreon, like a random minifigure each month or your name in the credits.